Hello seniors and welcome to scholarship season. This video is going to feature directions for you to take advantage of different scholarship applications that are now available to you through guidance and through the community. We're going to start by talking about the local scholarship application. This is a single application that you will complete, you will submit it to guidance, and we will share it with a variety of organizations in the community. Okay, that will be done um, in school through us. One note that you should understand, and we'll talk about this more later, scroll, is that there is a whole nother set of applications that are available through Naviance. Some organizations in the community use our application, and then some have their own applications. So we wanna make sure that you are thinking about both processes as we get started with scholarships. On this application, there is a full instructions page. So you need to read through the instructions. There's a lot of information given to you here that will help you complete your application properly. One thing that's very important to note is that there are three required steps and one optional step to apply. The three required steps are one, complete this application. And we'll show you that in a minute. The second step is to complete a Google form. We'll also show you that. The third step is for your parents to sign off in the Genesis portal that they have reviewed your application and they give us permission to share it with the community. So those are the three required steps. This application, a Google form, and a parent sign off in the Genesis portal. There is an optional step, and we will speak to you more about that later. There is a separate application which can be submitted in addition to this first application for those of you who want to be considered on the basis of financial need. Let's take a look at the application. Oh, wait, hold on. Deadline, Tuesday, March 1st. Tuesday, March 1st. There are few deadlines in the world that are absolutely absolute. This is one of them. Ms. Walton, what's the deadline again? <laughs> Tuesday, March 1st. <laughs> All right, you'll be submitting this online. So as long as it is submitted by that night, you'll be fine. If you try to submit it on March 2nd, you will not be able to and it will not be accepted. Okay, so here's the application. You're gonna fill out some general information about yourself. Okay, you're going to answer questions about what middle school you came from. You know, why do you have to answer some of these questions? They seem unusual. That's because these help us decide what organizations we should share your application with. If your school PTO participates, if the fire department in your town participates, things like that. So we need to know this information. We will be inserting information about your updated academic statistics at school, so you don't need to include them. We do ask you to include test scores college majors, community service hours, um, varsity letter, right? Again, these are all uh, questions that different organizations are interested in. The next page is where you will share all of your activity information, okay? Um, what did you do in school? What did you do in the community? These are activities in the community. The next question is, how did you serve in the community? Okay, sports. These are school sports and community sports. And finally, employment. You'll notice each of these sections has three lines under it. As you are working on your application, if you need more lines for a certain category, you can edit this document and you can add more lines. If your page begins to get too long, you can choose one of the categories that you don't have as much information for and you can delete lines to keep the document neat. The next page is information about your family, okay? There are questions here that you're going to have to ask your parents for help with. There's questions about you, their parents' and grandparents' veteran status. There's questions about your parents and if they're involved in any uh, social organizations, okay? So you want to make sure that you are reviewing this application with your parents so that they are able to help you give complete and accurate information. Then we need to know about your college, okay? A lot of you don't have full information yet. A lot of you may not know by March 1st whether you've been accepted and what your financial aid package is. So we ask you to tell us as much as you can at the time you submit the application. Tell us the schools you've applied to, check off if you've been accepted, and if you know which one you are attending, you can give that information as well. This column is important, the estimated total annual cost, and that will require a little bit of homework. 
We're asking you to figure out the total cost of attendance at the school. If you're staying there, it should include room and board. If you're commuting, it should include travel costs on top of the tuition. Okay? And then the last page is the essay. Okay? The essay question is here. It's very clear. It asks about your goals and possibly making contributions to the community when you um, are an adult. Please understand that most of the organizations who are supporting our students through scholarships are community service-based organizations. So talking about how you intend to serve, how you can make a positive contribution to society after you graduate, those are things that they care about. Please take some time to think about your answer to this essay and write a good essay. It doesn't need to be long, but it should be thought out and it should be proofread and it should use capital letters and proper grammar. So please do a good job with that, okay? We want them, if they see a sloppy essay, they're probably gonna put your application aside. So that is basically it for the um, application itself. You will complete this online and you will submit it online, okay? And we'll talk about how you're gonna submit it in a minute. Let's go to step two, which was the Google form. Can you click on that link up there with the purple? This is a Google form. This was the second required part for you to complete. What it is, is essentially a repeat of several of the questions that you answered on the first page of the application. It's going to ask you, you can scroll, simply to go through and give information about uh, your name, your counselor, where you're from, um, your middle school, a lot of the same stuff that you did on that opening page. So please be sure you go through, completely answer the questions. One thing about this that's important, on this part here, Total number of community service hours, please put a number in. Don't say approximately, don't say, uh, you know, 52 and a half in words, like just put a single number in there as your answer. About the college majors, you need to um, be as specific there as you can possibly be. We don't want a list of five or six, you know, the one that you most are considering, if you're truly undecided, maybe two, okay? And then that's it, you'll get to the bottom of this and you'll submit this and um, you'll be done, okay? So that's it for parts one and two. Um, miss, the part three is the Genesis portal, okay? Your parents simply have to log in. It will be put there as a form. Your parents will be notified that the scholarship form is available for them to complete in Genesis and they should be experienced with that at this point, okay? Thank you very much. Ms. Jackadine's up next. Hi everyone, I am here to talk to you about the financial aid supplement part of your overall scholarship application. To review, Mrs. Walton just talked to you about the three different parts. The first one is the High Point Local Scholarship application that you need to complete. There is the Google form that you also need to complete. Those are both required documents. The third is the parent signature that, you, that they will find through the Genesis Parent Portal. Those top three. And the one that I'm gonna to talk to you about right now is the Financial Need Supplement Scholarship Application. This part is actually optional. However, if you are going to submit it, you have to complete the first three steps. So, if we just receive the supplement, but we don't have one, two, and three done, the supplement will not be considered. All of these applications are due Tuesday, March 1st, period. There are no exceptions. Tuesday, March 1st, everything needs to be done. Okay, so we're gonna actually now go into the financial needs scholarship so you can see the different aspects of it. Many of our local organizations do provide scholarships for students who demonstrate financial need. So if you are in this situation, this supplemental application is important for you to complete, to think about and answer everything as thorough as you possibly can. So if we scroll down a little bit, please note that everything that you put here is confidential. We don't actually share this application with the scholarship organizations. It's just for the guidance purposes so that we can say, hey, this student has this demonstrated need. 
um, this is what you need to know. So it all stays with us. Once we are done with the scholarship selections, these are actually shredded. So the, your information isn't out there. Okay. So you could see the top part here is name, mailing address, town, your counselor, similar to your local scholarship application. Your estimated family contribution, the EFC, that number is found on your FAFSA. So all of you have, should have completed your FAFSA by now. You want to check that number and you're going to stick it right after that equal sign, okay? Cost of financial aid money offered. Now, some of you have heard from your colleges. Some of you have heard your financial aid packages. It's possible that you haven't so far. So if you've received this information, please complete this chart as thoroughly as you possibly can. If you have not, then, and you haven't actually even, let's say, heard from the college yet, or if you've heard from the college but not received your financial aid package, you want to at least put some approximate numbers here so that we have a sense of what tuition you are potentially looking at, okay? Keep going down. Let us know if you are eligible for New Jersey Stars. Remember, just New Jersey Stars is the top 15% 15. 15 of the graduating class goes to county college for free for two years, okay? If you've applied through any outside scholarships or for any outside scholarships, this is where you want to list them. Even, we want you to list them even if you haven't heard from the organization just yet. It's just to kind of give us a sense of what else are you looking for out there, okay? We'll keep going down. We do have two short essay questions on here. These essays are extremely important. All too often we have students that fill out this application, but they don't really put a lot of thought or time into answering those questions. The organizations that are giving money, some of them give a lot of money and they put a lot of consideration into what is worded here. And we can only give that information to them if you give it to us as your guidance counselors. So please think about how you plan to assist in the payment of your college tuition. What have you already been doing? How are you saving? What do you plan to continue to do once you get into college and you, and you start your time there? Please describe any family circumstances that may have affected your family's ability to call it to your family's ability to contribute to your college tuition, whatever that may be. Give us that information, be as detailed as you possibly can. Remember that it is confidential. We are not giving these applications out to anybody. Okay? And then if there's any other information that you feel that you need to add to the mix, you can also use that space there. Spelling, grammar, neatness, all count capital letters, please, 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 please put a lot of time and effort and thought into answering these questions. And again, everything is due Tuesday, March 1st. That's all for me. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. All of this is going to be available to you in a Google Classroom. So you should be looking out in your emails for the HP Local Scholarship Google page. You will all have a space in the class. Once that opens, that is where you're going to find the local scholarship application, all of the directions that we just discussed, and the financial need supplemental application. That is the venue in which you're going to submit those documents to us. We do not want them in any other form. All of them should be submitted through your Google Classroom page. Now that's all for me. Bye, guys. Good luck.